I've been wanting a simple way to change the color of logos or icons in Final Cut Pro for a while and I'm used to the fill effect in After Effects where I can add the effect and just change the color. For some reason Final Cut Pro doesn't have its own fill effect and it's pretty annoying to drop a logo into a project only to realize that you need to change the color so that it stands out on top of your footage. Usually I would open it up in Photoshop and add a color overlay to bring it back into Final Cut Pro or I would add a color wheels adjustment to push the brightness values up on all of the sliders to make it white. This only works to make things white or black though. But both workflows are a waste of time and I figured I can't be the only one who has this problem. So I created my own plugin and I'm giving it away for free. So let me show you how it works. We've got this black Apple logo over here and it doesn't stand out on this dark footage. I want to make it white and this is the most common scenario for me. So if you just drop the color fill effect onto the logo, it fills it with white. You can of course change the color to anything you like. There is also a mix slider if you want to blend between the original and the selected color. That could have been the end of it, but I wanted this plugin to have a little bit more functionality. So you have the option to fill the object with a gradient instead. You can choose the start and end colors of the gradient to whatever you like. And using the on-screen controls, you can adjust the start and end points of that gradient. You can also fine tune the middle point between the start and end points. You can change the gradient type to radial if you want a circular gradient. I'll just grab the on-screen control for the start point and put that in the middle of the logo. And then I can adjust the end point to get a radial gradient on that logo. It's nothing groundbreaking, but it beats having to go into Photoshop or to use the color wheels workaround just to change the color on a logo. If you want to grab it and use it in your own videos, I'll link to it down below. And while you're on my website, check out the list of other free plugins and transitions that I've created. If you want more free plugins, then you'll definitely want to watch this video next where I show you how to use these awesome 10 free plugins.